Hey, are you there? It's me. I got a story to tell you. A long, long time ago, well, maybe it was 2009, at a conference far, far away, well, maybe it was Vancouver, this young educational technologist came to the Open Education Conference with a different kind of presentation. You know, hey, that was me. I'm Alan Levine, and at that conference, there was a lot of talk at the time of things related to open education. I think it was reusable learning objects and course management systems, and it was so long ago, I don't remember exactly. Maybe even the first MOOC was out, but I had a different thing that I thought was important to openness, and it was things that I experienced myself. It was the sheer joy of what happened when you share things openly on the internet, and unexpected things happen. And I thought, does this only happen to me? Can this only be me that this stuff happens to? You know, I went all the way to do a workshop in Tasmania, and I told them the story of a random person who commented on one of my Flickr photos. And I thought, that's pretty cool. She raised her hand, she was in the room. There's no way that that can happen. And that was what I called amazing stories. So I came to the Open Education Conference in 2009. I had collected stories from other people that they sent me, and it was, it was a lot of fun, and people seemed to like it. I did it a few more times, but now, in 2023, I want to bring it back, and I'm bringing it to you at the Open Education Conference, and I'm going to need your help. I need more stories, so I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay, let's throw some light on the subject. Is this better? Maybe not. Very quickly, go to this site down in the URL. That's where all the stories sit. You can just see what kind of things are there. Collected stories of almost anything that people have shared that has been an act of unexpected serendipity is what I call it from openly being, sharing, connecting. Could be on your blog, could be from something you posted, could be from social media. It doesn't matter how it happened. It's just that something happened that made you go, wow. That was surprising. So I will also ask for those who might remember uh, from the old site, maybe if you could go back and look and reflect on uh, your old stories and what it means all this time later. Why now? Why more important? I don't know. I still think it's important. It still matters to me all the time. Right now, when we have this like wave of concern of machines and algorithms and intelligence that's really artificial and maybe not intelligent coming down on us like a wave of unexpected stuff that we didn't want. What could be more human than stories of human connection? And you know what? You can't do this through a bot or a thing. They can't feel this feeling when this happens, when the connection happens. That's the magical. And please, please help me out. I need to collect some stories. I got to put this together by end of September. I'm under a deadline. Please go down and share right now. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Tell me a story. Tell someone else a story. I'll see you at Open Ed 2023.